Hey guys, thanks so much for joining me today on this episode of Dynamo BIM. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how we can build in some reporting into our Dynamo scripts so that when our office, our team, whomever it might be, when they run this script, it will actually report out to them some problems they might be having, why the script didn't run as they expected it to. So let's get started in Dynamo. Per usual, we're in the advanced architectural sample file within Revit 2023, and we have Dynamo Player open. The script that we worked on in an earlier episode to number elements I have here. And if we come in and we run this script, you can see our furniture elements do not have a number parameter, right? If I actually come in here and I grab a piece of furniture from my furniture plan, my furniture layout plan here, you can see if I tab into this group, select a piece of furniture, there is no parameter called number. So you can see that we get an output within Dynamo Player that says no elements were updated, check elements slash parameter name. See, the user can come over here, update the parameter to mark, rerun this, and we will see that the script will run as expected. So let's talk through how we create this within Dynamo. I'm just gonna go ahead and close out a Dynamo player and open up the original script that we worked on. Any questions related to this script, make sure you check out the link below. We went over this script and how to create it very early on in Dynamo Shorts series. Essentially, we are grabbing a category of elements, grouping them based off of their level, associating a dictionary based off of the level value, and then numbering them based off of a parameter that a user specifies. So, typically, we would produce a watch node, right-click on it, tell it to be an output, and we would output the elements that were updated, maybe even rename this node elements updated and the user would then know within Dynamo Player what got, what happened. However, if for whatever reason the script is not running because of null values, you can see here that there is no parameter called number as I mentioned before, we're getting nulls. And as a Revit user, we may not understand what null means. So we can essentially add some information to this output, some conditional formatting, if you will, to let our user know what may have occurred. I'm gonna actually save this file, close out of Dynamo, and get back into Dynamo Player just to see how that output displays within Dynamo Player. Those null values that we saw within Dynamo are actually just displayed here as question marks. We do get the output, but nothing really that's of worth or any of value. So let's take a look how we can report out something that might be beneficial to us rather than these question marks. I'm closing out a Dynamo player, coming back into Dynamo. And with our watch node that is, if we right click, an output, we're just going to move this down here. And we're going to basically ask this list that we're outputting through Dynamo Player, is it null or is it empty? Two things that essentially would mean that we had problems running this script. Either one, we don't have any elements that we're trying to renumber, right? Maybe there is no furniture within this Revit model or there's no parameter value. So ask this list, is it empty or is it null? Run this and you can see we get some trues, right? Because our list, as we know, is reporting a bunch of nulls. So I will create a list of both of these booleans, right? Are you empty or are you null? And if it is either one of these, I want to know, are any true? 
And so we should get a true value here because we do have null values. We don't have an empty list, but we do have some null values. So are any true? Yes. So if we have an empty or a null value, I want to output something else to my user, a message that will indicate to them maybe what the problem is. So I am going to do a conditional statement using the if node with the any true being my test, right, of my Boolean. And if it is true, if we have a null or an empty list, I don't want to put out this list of question marks, right? I want to output a string, which we can do with a code block and some quotations, that says no elements updated. Check element category and parameter values specified or whatever value or message that you would like to output. So if it's true, this will be output. If not, if it is an empty or if it's not null, let's go ahead and return the elements back. And this conditional statement will now be what I report out to my users. So if I rerun this script, there we go. Because I get an empty list and a null value, either one, I now output to my user, no elements updated, check element category and perimeter values specified. Maybe I want a period in there. Now, per usual, I'm going to go ahead and grab the, these nodes, group them, make it gray, because this is reporting. Elements updated. Get rid of my description here because I do not need one. And I will save this, close out, and reopen Dynamo Player as I had before. And if we run this, we no longer get the question marks. We get the message that we put out to our users. So now I know there is no parameter called number. I'll update it to mark, rerun this, and I get the output that I was expecting, the list of updated elements. In addition, if I specify a category that does not exist, such as casework within this list, whether or not it has a parameter that I find or not, so if it does have a mark value, because there is no casework within this Revit model, no elements are updated. There are no elements to be updated. Thanks so much for joining in to this episode of Dynamo BIM. Hopefully you and your Revit users benefit from these error messages. Make sure you like and subscribe and tune in next time.